everybody, I am back to make the soap that I promised I would make after I took you on a little walk. So, I haven't got a name for this yet, I'm going to think of one, um, I don't know, over the next couple of days anyway. So, the fragrances I've chosen are very woody and a bit nutty, like my good self, and fruity, so I'm using... Yeah, a very earthy, woody scent, mixed with a nut scent, mixed with slow. So we find slows in the hedgerows that people make their gin with, so I wanted to put a bit of that in there. So basically all those elements on that walk where we've got that, sort of those berries, a very autumnal sort of blend. So I've made the blend. I'm not going to tell you what it is because it's a secret, because it's going to be a bespoke blend for my company. So that's that. Sorry about that, but that's the way it goes sometimes. I just make things for just my company, not yours. So colour wise, I'm going to use white base as usual, and I'm going to be using this golden brown by the Sopery, which is a nice bronzy colour. Then I'm going to be using Mica Mama, what is this one? Olive gold green, and then Mica Mama black grape mica. So those three colours, I've already mixed them in some oils here, so I've just got them ready to go. I'm just waiting for the light to cool down and for the oils to cool down and then we can start making soap. So this one, probably, I don't know whether to do a drop swirl or whether to do my usual chopstick swirl, but we'll see how this goes. I don't know whether to do a peak top or my usual flipped over top. We shall see as we go along. I don't think I'm going to use any toppings on this, but I might change my mind as I look on my shelf behind me, see what we've got. But I don't think I'm going to use anything. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to get that, like, yeah, just get the oils ready and the lye ready and finish watching my programme. I'm watching Fear City, New York versus the Mafia. It's so good. It's on Netflix. I'm sure some of you have been watching that, but it it's just I'm just like gripped so while these are cooling down I'm going to have that on in the background and I'll be back in a moment okay I'm going to start then so lye water into oils and then just stick blend that Okay, then let's pour my colours. So much easier when you pre-mix the colours in a bit of oil. I just use either olive oil or sunflower oil and just take a bit out of the soaping oils just to get it dispersed. It's just a lot quicker and you don't get any lumps or powdery areas. Sometimes I, if I'm lazy and I don't do it the right way, then I'm not doing myself any favours. white in the base then. fragrance. Majority in there. A little bit in these. I'll do it. Okay. So 
I'm just starting to think now about uh, autumn and how nice it is actually when it comes around and how I do like to be in my home cosy and I don't know there's just something about the time of year after we've had the summer and it's all been you know although this year obviously is a bit different but I mean generally summertime everything's happening in summertime you're busy you're doing all these things you're going on holiday you you know well <laughs> We're not at the moment, but generally we do, and everything's always so busy out there. I like the kind of slower pace of autumn, and just sort of thinking about food more, <laughs> and eating pies and crumbles and things like that. So I do really look forward to autumn. There's just something about a nice uh, autumnal rainy day, you know? <laughs> So, I think I will try a drop swirl and then I'll see if I change my mind at the end. <laughs> so here is our mould. Just get the white in first. I haven't done a drop swirl for some time. I used to do them a lot years ago. So let's go in with the brown first. So I've got quite a lot, see. That's the trouble. But we want each bar to have a little bit of each colour, so Probably didn't need quite as much of each colour. It's always interesting drop swirls. I always think, oh, it'd be boring, and then they, you know, just depends. They generally never are boring. Let's put a bit of purple. Sometimes I'd go up and down and do it that way, but I'm just going to change it up a bit today and see what this comes out like. It's quite interesting on the surface, but inside, of course, it'll be different. It's just going to go wherever it wants to go. But that's the beauty, isn't it? When you cut into it the next day, you're like, oh, that's what happened. You just never know what's going on inside there until you're ready to cut. And that, I kind of like that, you know. Just get a bit of the olive green. Mm, I love this colour. It goes a bit darker, but I've used double the amount this time. Normally I'd use like a teaspoon per half jug but I've used two teaspoons today so I wanted to slightly deeper colour of each. This looks interesting doesn't it on the top. I've never sort of had a soap look like that before. Now I'm not sure what to do. <laughs> Just go with it I guess. Like that. And then some more purple. Okay, now I'm just going to get the rest. The spatula it does smell very good. It smells very woody and very fruity at the same time. It's, I've used more wood, more of the wood scent than the fruit because I wanted an earthy sort of, um, quite a rustic sort of a scent, you know, if that makes sense. I didn't want it to be too fruity and too sort of berry-like. I wanted it to be more like, 
it smells I was getting on that walk. I mean, it's not, it's impossible really to create, recreate nature using fragrance oils. And actually to create that scent using essential oils would be pretty damn hard. And probably again, not something that we'd be capable of doing. I don't think anyway. Not unless you're a genius, of course. I'm going to do a figure of eight. I think that will do. We could leave it like that. It's quite interesting. I don't want to mess with it too much. So I think I'll leave it like that today. That's different for me, isn't it? It doesn't look like one of mine. <laughs> yeah, that'll do. Okay, I'm, li I'm liking that. I am liking that. That looks really pretty. Really pretty. So, I'm going to put that to the side and we'll be back for the cut shortly. Ta-ta. Okay, the cut. The cut, the cut, the cut. Let's have a look and see what we've got. I made two loads of this. I made another one after I'd filmed this. But the other one... The other one... I went a little bit differently because I soaked a little bit warmer. I'll show you the top of the second one. It's not as nice as the first one at all. It's okay. But the first one is much more snazzy. So, I'm just going to trim the edges. So I don't have to do it each individual bar. So I'm just going to take that off. I sometimes forget to do, well, I do forget to do this a lot on camera, but it makes life a lot easier for me once I've cut the bars. And I don't have to go through every edge because the two are already done, if you see my meaning. It's hot today. It's going to be a really hot day in, well, for the UK. It's going to be another hot day today, so I'm not going to be at work all day. I think I'm going to take a little break. I've been very tired, so I'm going to have a little breathe, I think. So, just get that into position. And I'll put it on an angle so you can just see a bit better. So. See what that drop swirl came out like. Oh, okay. Looks quite nice. So it looks a leg of this. Yeah, I like that. That's come out pretty nice. I would normally not use as much soap batter, like the colours. I would normally do it a little bit more subtle than that for a drop swell. But this is pretty. It's come out pretty. And the tops look nice too. These colours are so deep. So I use the double the amount of colour as I normally would. And it's really vibrant. Really vibrant, very, very nice. So that be that. That's that soap done. I think it might, looking like it might go a little bit darker than it is. It might go to a light tan maybe. It's looking like it might discolour a little bit, but yeah, nice soap. And I've got a name for it now. It's going to be called Hedgewitch. I think that's kind of appropriate given where we were and what we were looking at and all that kind of thing. So. That's that. I think it looks very pretty. So, 
I will be back for the next video shortly. I'll just do these. I've got a little video I want to do. I've just received a package that I've not opened yet, and I want to do a video. The lady contacted me on Instagram to ask if she could send me a package, and I said yes. And so the cat package has just arrived. So I'm going to have a look and see what she sent. So that's very exciting. And I'll do a video so I can show you what I got. It's always nice when people send you gifts. It's just the kindest thing. And I'm really excited to open it. So it's a big, big envelope. So I'm going to have a look at that in a second. And I'll film a video. So there we go. That is Hedgewitch. And I'll be back shortly. There you go. I'll leave some pics at the end so you can see a close-up of these. So I hope you enjoyed that video and I will see you very soon. Ta-ta.